Good morning, everyone. My name is Yuti Patel, course code CP01, NTTM Forward, and my short talk topic name is Sandwich. So, here are all my contents introduction, definition, clamping process, application, video, advantages, and material. It's all are my contents, which I'm going to explain. So, now before starting the topic, I want to you know about what is jig. So, it is a device which is used for uh, clamping work as well as it's used for branding, guiding, guiding uh, tools. Definition of the sandwich jig. So, it is basically used for clamping a thin or soft parts of a material which could be bent or wrapped if any other type of jig is used. For that purpose only, we are using sandwich jig. So, now we are going to discuss about how to clamp a workpiece in sandwich jig. So, in the beginning, in sandwich jig, the workpiece is clamped like a sandwich between the base plate and the jig plate. So, as we can see in the diagram, the upper plate is known as jig plate and the bottom plate is known as base plate. So, both is mandatory for clamping the workpiece in the sandwich jig. The clamping can be done by two single eyeballs with one open clamping slot in the plate. So, uh, for clamping the sandwich jig, eye bolt is a must for that. The tightening of the hexagonal nuts shown clamping the jig against the workpiece of the base plates. So, for clamping the workpiece, hexagonal nuts are used for that. So, as you can see, it's all our diagram of the sandwich jig. Uh, in the first diagram, as you can see, uh, our workpiece is going to clamp like a sandwich. The upper plate middle of the upper plate and the bottom plate and the base plate and the bottom plate and uh, the, as you can see the hexagonal nuts which is used for clamping the plate and uh, in the plate or uh, in the uh, upper plate the wing nuts which is used for clamping so it is a use of sandwich jig it is used to hold the very thin parts which would otherwise bend or distort under tool pressure it provides supports when drilling soft thinner parts during drilling or general machining to prevent bending or wrapping. So it is basically used for drilling and as well as on other operations. Advantages. It provides stability to the workpiece. The workpiece is held between the both face of the sandwich jig. So it won't wrap or bend during the drilling. So as you know that in a sandwich jig, our workpiece is going to be clamped between the base plate and the sandwich jig. So because of them, our workpiece is not going to be damaged. It will pretend and uh, will be safe in the middle of the base plate and the sandwich jig. So here are some materials which is used for making sandwich jig and its parts. So mild steel, carbon steel, dye steel, cast iron and high strength steel. Thank you.